Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to look at inequality word phrases. We are going to have a bit of an inequality dictionary, then we're going to look at some inequality problems, and then we're going to practice a little bit, um, a lot. All right, all of this is basically practice. Let's look at our inequality dictionary. This symbol, this symbol, this one and this one are all of the symbols for inequalities. And in a dictionary type way, I'm going to kind of define the term in ways that they would be used in a word problem. So the green symbol is the less than symbol. It's also the symbol that you would use to show in a word problem somebody having less than somebody else. Like, um, I have less cocoa than you do, or you have less marbles than I do and that would be a word phrase, or Jim has less than five marbles, right? It would be that type of symbol that would be used for those phrases. The greater than symbol, we could also use the, great, the word greater than, but typically in word phrases, we use more than. So I have more money than you, or I have more money than $10. How would I write that as a word phrase? Things of that example. Um, the yellow symbol there, at least as much as. This is the greater than or equal to. And it seems funny to say at least when we're talking about greater than, but that's what it means. If someone has at least $5, it means that they have $5 or more. So Jim's money is at least $5. You would say Jim is greater than, his money is greater than or equal to $5. And the same way the less than or equal to sign could be shown by saying it's the same or less or at most. You have at most won five gold medals. That means you have less than or equal to five gold medals. Um, so those are just a couple of ways and it makes us think about um, inequalities in a different way. but here is just kind of my inequality dictionary as far as word phrases go. All right, now let's actually look at some word phrase problems and we can practice um, step by step along the way here. Um, write the inequality using n for the variable. The cost increased by $43 and is more than $200. The way that we would write this as an inequality would look something like this. The cost, n, was increased by $43, so the cost plus 43 is now more than 200. So you've got that more than, which is the greater than symbol. You've got um, increased by, so that's addition. Now that's the way we would write an inequality. Now for your practice, I want you to figure out what is the original price. What's the original price? You need to solve this inequality. Pause the video and try to do that. Hey, welcome back. When you're solving an inequality, you find your variable n, say what's connected to it, plus 43, and then you do the inverse, which is to subtract 43 from both sides of this inequality, leaving us with n is greater than 157. So what that means is that our cost is greater than 157 at the beginning, then it increased by 43, and so now the cost is at you know, more than 200. We have to also ask ourselves at this point, does this make sense? And um, the number does make sense. It, it was, you know, greater than 157 because when we added that 43 is greater than 200. But in some ways it sort of doesn't make sense because the cost could be more than 200 starting off, right? Um, if our original cost was $500, you add 43, it is more than 200. So it's kind of a funny sentence, as are all of these. Um, they don't make much sense in the real world, but it should, at least the numbers should make sense at the end. Let's go on to another question that makes no sense. Tarzan and Jane have more than six monkey pets. Jane has only one monkey. Write Tarzan's inequality. So Tarzan's inequality... How would we write that down? And this is your job. So I want you to pause the video and try and write Tarzan's inequality for how many monkeys he has. Tarzan's inequality was that Tarzan's was greater than or more than the total number of monkeys, six minus one, Jane's. So Tarzan has 
more than six or more than five monkeys. All right. So for Tarzan and Jane to have more than six monkey pets, Tar if Jane only has one, Tarzan has more than five, which we would use the, the greater than symbol. If it said at least five, then it would be the greater than or equal to. But in this case, it is just greater than. So again, we, we ask ourselves at the end of doing these questions, does the number make sense? Tarzan has five monkeys, Jane has one, they have, or Tarzan has more than five. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. But at the same time, it's kind of a dumb question, so no, it doesn't really make any sense. But at least the numbers make sense. That's what we're focusing on, numbers. All right. Now we're going to write in another inequality using x for our variable. Here it is. I drive at least 20 miles per hour. Write an inequality to show how far I drove in five hours. So you can pause the video, try to do that. I want you to write an inequality using x for your variable that shows I drive at least 20 miles an hour for five hours. Welcome back. Hopefully you wrote an inequality. At least is kind of a funny one, so um, check to make sure that you have the inequality written in the correct way. This is how I would write it x is my variable and x is greater than or equal to 20 miles per hour times 5 miles per hour. In other words, the amount that I drive, x, is going to be greater than or equal to 20 times 5. At least 20 miles an hour means that you're driving 20 miles per hour or more, so it's 20 miles an hour or greater. Okay, that's why we would use the greater than symbol. So the amount that I drove in five hours is greater than or equal to 100. And again, we ask ourselves, does that, that um, number make sense? If you're driving five, five hours, 20 miles an hour, it would equal to 100. But again, does the, the question make sense? No, absolutely not. Why would you drive 20 miles an hour for five hours? That'd be kind of a waste of your time. Um, then again, the question, you might be driving 100 miles an hour. And if that's the case, your answer is greater than 100. But it's kind of a funny question. Oh my goodness, all of these questions are kind of ridiculous. All right, so a couple of tips. Don't try to make sense of word problems with inequalities because oftentimes they won't make any sense at all. And then practice, practice, practice because it is important that you get um, a little bit of practice writing the symbols at least in the correct way. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.